There's some math to tell you. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Sean's taking a later flight tomorrow because we decided to make this long distance thing work. <laughs> I'm so happy I guess I'm crying. <laughs> oh, those are nice. <sighs> oh, these. Uh, I thought Elliot would be sad with you guys splitting up, so I just wanted to. Oh, that's so sweet. Uh, you just put the next two shots. Yeah. Okay, not sure they... You okay? Yeah. <laughs> not sure they can reach the water, but... Did he? But what if the thing I want is the girl I'm supposed to end up with? Should be me. What? Look, Elliot, every year we bounce around this thing and I never had the courage to stand up and tell you how I feel. I'm crazy about you. And I want you to know, if I had the choice of hanging out with anyone in the entire world or sitting at home with you, eating pizza, watching a crappy TV show, I'd choose you every time. I... I have to go. JD, Dr. Cox and I were talking, and my life is just so scattered right now, and I just, I just can't seem to grab a toehold, you know? And I know myself, and if we keep doing this, I'm not gonna be able to separate the sex from my feelings, and we'll just end up being a couple again. And neither one of us wants that, right? I mean, I know I don't. Me neither. So, what do we do? Tell her not to go. Uh, it's, it's no big deal. You, you get your stuff out of my room and you crash on the couch. Okay. Tell her something in my mind freezes up from time to time. Tell her nothing if not this All I want to do is kiss her Tell her not to go Tell her something in my mind Freezes up from time to time Flowers are good for any occasion. And nothing is more important than making time for an old friend. Especially if the old girl's seen better days. Uh, uh, 
Because <laughs> even if it breaks your heart to be just friends, if you really care about someone, you'll take the hit. And it wasn't just stuff. It was all of my yearbooks and this little pink blanket that my grandmother had crocheted for me. And oh, my first love letter from this grandma. I only have one picture of it. I guess the funny thing about love is you never know how things are going to work out. I just hate how it sounds. Like me. I lost Elliot, but at least I went down swinging. Tony? What are you doing? What are we watching? The last on the prairie. Hmm. Scrubs. I haven't seen you in those in like two years. I didn't want to get my christening dress wrinkly. These are all I have in my locker. I like you in scrubs. Reminds me of when we used to date. <laughs> that was a disaster. All of it? No. You ever think maybe we're perfect for each other? We just have the same fatal flaw. I mean that whenever we get too close to a commitment, we totally freak out and try to escape. That's what we've been doing here all night, right? Besides, I've thought about it, and there's no escape in this one. The gifts are all here. People have bought plane tickets. I'm getting married. I've reached the point of no return. You don't mean both. I mean, to get out of this, I'd have to do something huge. I'd have to go nuclear. And I watch you, want to do you, right where you're standing. So there we were, together, <laughs> but not together. And as always, not knowing what the hell we were doing. Hey. Look, Elliot, I don't know if it's possible for me to put how I feel about you into words. But I guess I'll give it a shot. I never really believed that I'd find somebody that I love as much as you. I love you more than anything in the whole world. Elliot, I love you more than dirt. Oh my god. I know. That's even hard for me to say, but it's true. <laughs> I had to wrestle under the ground to get this, but it's more important for you to have it. Look at me. You're my dream girl. It's never good to live in the past too long. As for the future, thanks to Dan, it didn't seem so scary anymore.
It could be whatever I want it to be. say this isn't what happens who can tell me that my fantasies won't come true just this once no 